Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki Bentley and Albert, here to share with you 10 things about Yorkies. I thought this would be such a fun share, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing, did you know that Yorkies were one of the top 10 breeds in the United States? You see them all over. They are just adorable. They are feisty. They are just such a great pet. They're just just a beautiful addition to my family. And I have so many of you that I talk to that they are a beautiful, a beautiful addition to yours also. So number two about Yorkies is they are watchdogs. Billy and Albert, they really believe in their mind, I really think they believe that their full-time job is to sit at the window and to watch out for anyone who passes by. And then they go ballistic for about a second or so, then they stop and then someone else walks by and they do it again. And so they really think that their profession is to be a watchdog. Now, friends, one tip that I had to do uh, for the window that Bentley and, and Albert love to be at all day is I had to put, because this is in our bedroom, I usually have this blanket on the bed for them so that they can lay on the bed and look out the window and do what they love to do. But I have um, kind of blackout curtains up so that at night I can close it off because any shadow, anything, they think it's a person and they're alerted and they are just going crazy. So to keep peace in the house, we have a system for kind of closing off the blackout curtains at night so that they will really calm down. They really get hyped. So the next thing about Bentley and Albert are, even though they are small, they are feisty. They are really feisty. Even when we go for our walks outside, Bentley is really just kind of, somebody walks by, he's ready to just go up to him only to lick him and, and have fun, but he's just really not shy. You know, Bentley, Albert, not so much, but they are both just very, they see something and they are going into attack mode. And then when you get to it, they're licking it. So I don't know what that means for them, but they just really can be kind of aggressive, not in a negative way, but aggressive, like they're not shy. They they really can just approach people. At least my, my breeds or my breeds or my dogs are like that. So then the next thing about Yorkies is that, uh, and this is a wonderful thing about them, they don't shed. They have hair kind of like humans. And so it just doesn't shed. And they really have a beautiful coat. And I love that because with maintenance around the home, it really helps because you don't have dog hair everywhere. So that's the beautiful beautiful thing about a Yorkie. I did not even realize this when uh, we got ours, but it just was like a bonus when we got our pets. So I'm just really um, happy about that because I know friends who have dogs that shed and that really can be a headache. Every day, they're just getting all this hair up off the floor and then it's kind of tearing up their vacuum cleaners and all kinds of things. But with Bentley and Albert, that is just not an issue. But their hair does tangle. So if you have a Yorkie, you can know they got they can have long hair sometimes and even their short hair can tangle. So it's important that every night you give them a good brush down. And Albert, the bigger puppy here or bigger dog here, is hair is a lot thicker than Bentley's and so his is really coarse. So it's a really important to brush his every day. Bentley is a little easier than Albert. Albert to maintain his coat, but um, Albert, I think, has re really just a nice, thick, beautiful coat, but it does mean giving them a good brush down every day so that they stay really nice and their coat stays nice and they feel good. Bentley and Albert, like, they they love it. They just really love it. It's kind of like the highlight of their evening or their day, and you can tell when I'm, as, as you can see here, as I'm brushing one, another is trying to come and get brushed. So they want, do you see how ben, Albert Bentley is coming up under? He's telling me he wants me to brush him and not to brush Albert, and Albert t does the same. He sits there and he waits and he's ready for me to come brush him. So they really love the brushing. It's really one of their favorite um, activities. So let's move into something else about Yorkies. They can be possessive, not only of you, but of their things and even of your things. You know, Bentley and Albert, they are really possessive of their balls. And Mike is working with them, especially because he plays ball with them every day. And they can sense when it's almost time for ball time to be over. And then that's when that possessive nature comes in. And we've had to kind of train Bentley because he had gotten to the point where he even snaps when you try to take the ball. So he's gotten back better about that, but they can really get possessive. And then Albert gets possessive of all the toys. He thinks that all toys are his toys. And so he really just gets um, kind of 
over the top with it sometimes. And the good thing is Bentley does not really care about toys, but he does care about a ball. As you can see here, he thinks I'm trying to take his ball and see, he's gotten a lot better. He's not snapping now, but at one point he was snapping when you would try to take his ball, but we've kind of corrected that behavior and he's, he's good to go now. He's such a good pup. Okay. So number six, when it comes to Yorkies is you need patience. They need owners that have patience because they can be a little bit on the stubborn side, especially Bitten Lee and Albert. You know, sometimes I have to ask them 10 times to sit. They will finally get it, but they can be a little stubborn about it. So they really need um, owners that have a lot of patience. And, you know, we love for our pets to be able to run and play outside, you know, and we would love that for Bentley and Albert, but we are very protective of them. You know, we have to take them on walks and we give them a little area um, to play with and we have to be there because you have to be careful with them. They're small dogs, so owls and birds and, you know, animals, coyotes, if you live in that type of area, they will prey on your Yorkie. And so you have to be very protective and careful about that because it takes no time at all for them to get them. So we have a little gate up and we have just kind of a little run for them so that we can kind of protect them and let them have a good time outside. And then we take them for walks also. But that's kind of what we do uh, for our pets because, you know, they still need to get outside, get some exercise and have fun. But I would never forgive myself if something happened to them by just letting them roam in our backyard unattended or, you know, not being there to be able to capture them um, if something happens. And another thing about Yorkies are they can be extremely difficult to potty train. They can be stubborn about it. And when you get a Yorkie, it is important to start from the beginning because if you don't, it is hard and it's hard. Now, Albert is a lot easier than Bentley. Bentley is so stubborn sometimes. And so we have to really stay consistent with him and we you know, make sure we take him out back every so amount of time and we really have to he does signal us when he has to go but then sometimes Bentley you can just you know you Bentley we got to go outside because he is really stubborn so Yorkies can be extremely hard to house break and but they also can be um kitty litter trained and it, or I guess it shouldn't say kitty or litter trained you can train them to go on litter now we have the grass patch and that's what we use for our pets to go out back and use the grass in the middle of the night because we take them out in the middle of the night and it's easier to have that now the other thing about Yorkies is that they can have um, low blood sugar and so with your Yorkies it's always good to carry in your handbag or have around your house um, a little honey stick and I keep one on me so if they um, kind of go into that mode or they look like they're down or, or something like their the blood sugar is low I'll give them a couple licks of that um, to just kind of pump that up so that is one thing that is really common with the Yorkie breed and so you want to be on you know kind of the lookout for that with your Yorkie. And we really haven't had any problems out of Bentley and Albert. I think one or two times out of um, Bentley I have been concerned. But other than that, um, they do really good. They, they really are in good health and doing good. And friends, lastly, Yorkies are amazing. They are so lovable. They're dedicated, as many breeds are. But they really are a fun, fun dog to have in your home. If you have little ones, you want to be a little caref careful because their bones are fragile. And so if they're rough, you know, you just have to be careful with them. But um, they are just a beautiful breed. And, you know, I am so excited to have them as a part of our family. We love them so much. And so I hope you all have enjoyed my sharing uh, my little tidbits about Yorkies from what I know from my experience with ours. I hope that you all are doing great. We will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki Bentley and Albert saying goodbye.